Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to do an Echo Park haul for you guys because if you guys saw my last video with the Echo Park warehouse sale, they had some good things and I just kept adding things to my cart as I was going through the video with you guys. <laughs> so naturally, I had to get some goodies, but they also had this Valentine's Day collection I came across that is new to me that I've never seen before and I was just like, I need to have it. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. We're gonna open up this up together. Um, I'm probably not gonna be able to show you guys in the very beginning because there might be a receipt in there, but let me just check that out and let's get started. Okay, so I took out that receipt and here we are so we got some goodies oh i did also get a fall collection because i was like i want to make some fall gratitude journals and what is this they sent me like a like a little magazine of all their new fall and halloween things all right i gotta put this on the side sorry guys it's just there's no i don't have a big enough desk for that um but look at this they tell you all the things that you could get and it says to shop this collection you could like scan the code here wow this is something new that they're doing telling you guys about the new collections so that's cool and they tell you about oh their club membership which was oh that's a very cute that's a cute summer collection it's called sunkissed oh i like it <laughs> all right guys anyway so I got this collection called Hello Autumn. I want to say, one, I either have this, or two, I maybe have used it before, because um, it looks very familiar. But let me just show you guys real quick. So I was thinking either a fall album or some gratitude journals with this. Um, but this is what it looks like. And I hope you guys got some goodies from that sale too. Got some cut apart pumpkin scarves, colored leaves, apples harvest. I love that. That's a nice cut apart. Oh, friends giving. Please bring green beans, pumpkin pies, hot chocolate, apple crisp. Oh, and you get to check off what you're bringing. <laughs> That's so cute. I kind of want to, I feel like I want to do that for um, some kind of hosting thing I want to do in the future. That's cute. Um, then there's this leaves and the pies. So just like a collage of a bunch of things and i like this one on the back the greenery this is like your harvested um farm fresh goodies and some acorns four by six cut aparts here and the back then you got this that you could cut out these are actually a nice good larger size where you could use these as embellishments or turn them into little like little cards little booklets you could do that with these bigger ones and then oh i love the back though <laughs> love that and you've got this like wreath kind of page they're like little uh, they're kind of wreaths but kind of not because they go all the way in the center and then this is the back which i also love this pumpkins page look how good that goes together loving it so you got the orange and the teal pumpkins. Oh, but I like the back too. Why do they make a pretty one like this on the back of this? Like, why? Um, four by four cut aparts here. And the back side. And then this page I probably won't use. <laughs> but maybe I'll use the back side. I guess I kind of have to use the back side if I don't use the other side. And then there's this one. And I like the back. All right, so that is the Hello Autumn collection. Oh, and the sticker sheet. Yep, here's the sticker sheet. So you get a bunch of stickers. I like how they have a bunch of like smaller ones here and they also have some larger ones with sentiments. I love that. And I even like how their flags have sentiments. Those are very cute. All right, so that is the Hello Autumn collection. Okay, so next up I have this one called Hello Christmas. I'm pretty sure I don't have this one either, so I'm gonna show you guys. I just tried to put the other one back in this packaging, and I guess I missed and I already ripped the packaging, so that's not fun. <laughs> but 
But anyway, this is the Hello Christmas by Cartabella, but it was in the Echo Park warehouse sale because obviously that's like their sister store. Oh, it's got like some vintage vibes, or at least I feel like it does because with these little Santa and Mrs. Claus, how cute is that? Oh, but I love the backside too, which is like the green um, plaid. Um, here you have some cut aparts with a variety of sizes, sizes like these are three by four. 2x2, two 4x6, by 4x6, two, four by 2x2 four by two by two here, 4x6 here, I think. No, maybe this is a 4x... Mm. No, that's a 4x6. And then this one, I don't know, but that's a nice variety of sizes. Um, be cute to use that recipe card, but I probably also will not use that recipe card because if I'm going to make something recipe e, then it needs more recipe cards than just the one so I will probably use this side these flowers are gorgeous even those two together look so pretty and then the back side and then there's this one with the snowflakes the back side with the greenery um, evergreen trees then these ones with the cars and the trees and the presents and I also like the back though this one is a bunch of tags. I usually will not use this sheet, but the back side, oh boy, this is this is a rough one. This is hard to use, but then this one is hard to use also. Um, so, but this one, I probably foresee a lot of fussy cutting in my future. Like this is, doesn't make a good background on anything, in my opinion, and neither does that. So we'll see. Um, three by four size cut aparts here and the back side with these snowflakes, these trees that have some ornaments on it. The back, oh, this is so pretty with the candy canes and the wording. You could use it as like, just like a strip or you could even use this as a background. That is cute. Oh, I like this one also. That is pretty. And this too, some little peppermints. This is also nice with uh, like a background of like little houses, but I'll probably use the side. Then you got four by four cut aparts here and the back side with the florals. Then you got these ones and the back. There's a lot of good like um, things that you could use as like background paper in here, which is good. Um, ooh, I like how small these are. There's so many small ones. So this is a great sticker sheet. Wow. Yep, this is a great sticker sheet. If you were to just get the sticker sheet and, and like if you can't find sticker books, this is a great sticker sheet to have. However, I will tell you that this is not a white background. It's an off-white background. So it's also not going to match to all the collections, especially if you have some white paper going on because this is not like a white background. It's off white. So that's just something to note. Okay. So the next thing I got, I got two of these because this is also new to me. It is the My Valentine collection from them and I am so excited. So I'm going to show you guys one because this is new to me and it's so cute. Or it was looking so cute. So let's look at all the papers. And I love Valentine's Day stuff. Even though I didn't even get to craft Valentine's Day this year. Alright, so we got some florals here. And then the back sides got these hearts. You've got cut aparts in different sizes here. And the back side. Some traditional Valentine's Day colors and some non-traditional with the mint and the yellow but it's cute. Then you got this one. Oh, and this is by Cartabella. So it is the thicker kind of textured paper. I like this too, with the little stamps. And then this has like little roses in here. This super busy floral pattern. Ooh, this is so pretty. It's like a peach and a pink. Oh, that is pretty. Then you got four by four cut aparts here and little cherries on the back. That's cute. Bouquet of flowers. And the back side is this heart. These hearts. So the other ones were smaller and these were are bigger. Uh, four by six cut aparts here. A true love story never ends. I love that cut apart. I even like this one too. Just the regular love. 
And then the back side has like these hearts. And you could cut these and use as like a strip on something, or you could just use it as a background. Little ice creams. Look how cute. I would have never thought ice cream is Valentine's Day, but that looks super duper cute. And sprinkles on the back. How cute is that? Um, these watercolor fl watercolor florals here. And the back side are these polka dots. Three by four cut aparts here. I like this. Something, some of the things I love about you, and you can make like a list. That is very cute. And the back side's got these florals. You got these, this like plaid-ish paper. It's not really plaid, or maybe kind of it is, I don't know, but it's cute. And oh, these hearts are cute too. Then you got two by two size cut aparts, which I will probably use this back side instead, which not a fan, like I was gonna try to limit the mint, but I will probably use the back side and then whatever scraps I have left over, whatever cut aparts I end up with, you could end up using in like your project. And then here is the sticker sheet. So this banner here is really big, but you could cut them up. Oh, it's all, I mean, you could use it all together, but they're actually individual flags. Um, this love is really big, but if you were to make like a journal and split that over two pages, put LO on one side and VE on the other, that would be cute. So yeah, that is the My Valentine collection. Super cute. I really like it. Aside from the mint that I'm going to be forced to use, I like it. Like, I like pops of mint, but I don't want to do like a whole mint page, which now I kind of have to. Um, then I also got some solids. This is Letters to Santa. Some solid papers. I got some more solids this one doesn't have a cover sheet but this is for the gnome for christmas solids then i got this because it's always good to have more plaid papers that go with any christmas collection for the most part especially if i just need to throw something on the back so this is the tartan number two collection that they have and it's just a bunch of plaids um you get i think two of each yeah two of each of these um, and one side is the squares and one side is like the diagonal kind of plaid. Then I got this one, Deep Blue Sea. I don't have this one in my stash, so we're going to go through it. But I also got this one by the sea, which if you guys saw my summer collection, kind of what I was showing you guys, what's in my stash by the sea is one of my favorites. So I had to get another because I love it. I'm going to show you guys this one in a second. And then I also got America the Beautiful. And I want to say I have this collection too. And that's actually everything. But let me do a flip through of this one for you guys. Okay, I have 10 minutes before I have to get on a call. Um, okay, so let's speed this up. Okay, here is Deep Blue Sea. Okay, so I'm going to flip through this. This is another... Why are they doing this? Cut aparts in all different sizes. And then the back side, I like that for like a nice background. This is the uh, border kind of strips, which is cute, but they're really big that I would probably have a hard time using this. Like maybe this piece I could use on something, but, and maybe like cut this and use those separate, but to use the whole strip, like this one, way too big for me to use on like one thing, you know? So I'll probably end up using this side. This one is cute with the little octopus and shells and the backside with the little crabs. Oh, I love this next one because I just like love the stripes in the background. That is very pretty. Oh, but I love this one too. A bunch more stripes. Three by four cut aparts here. All you need is a dose of vitamin C. Cute. Row, 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 row. Oh, that just says row. I thought I was going to say row your boat. Nope. Shell. Yeah, that's cute. Okay. All right. Backside, these stripes. So whatever color cut parts you don't use, you could definitely use these stripes. Some anchors here. And the backside. It's like a little rope. Um, line, like lined background, but like this is a little like a rope. So that's cute. A lighthouse. And the backside. Oh, I like this one. That's a very cute one with the starfish. This one with a bunch of like sea themed words. And the back side is these polka dots. Then we have 
I don't even know what this is called. I know it's like the wheel of the boat, the steering wheel. Um, I'm sure there's a fancier name for it, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and then the back side is the stars. Then we got stripes on the next page with the back being more stars, just with the white background. You've got these paddles and then this like nighttime galaxy stars. I love this one with the little bikinis. And then the backside has stripes. And then the sticker sheet looks like this. So this will also match, like some of these will match to this other collection. Maybe not so much the ones with the craft paper, but like this one that says sale, that would go with that one, the whale and some other things. So you could always mix and match if you don't use them all. Or if you have scraps and you used up most of your stickers and you're down to a little bit, you can mix and match collections also. So that one was called Deep Blue Sea. And then the last one I'm going to show you guys is this one called America the Beautiful. So I can't remember if I have this one in my stash. You guys will probably know better than I do because you guys saw my What's in My Stash video, but right now I just can't remember. So America the Beautiful. You got three by four cut aparts here, and this is the regular Echo Park, so it's not the textured paper like the other ones that I was showing you guys. Then the back side has these stars. You've got, oh, you get two of each of these. Okay, so you could probably make two smaller projects with this and just use six sheets. This has four by four cut aparts, with the back, back side being these stripes. So two of each, four by six. And the back side is this floral. Then you've got this one. Back side, like this check gingham pattern. Then you've got these banners. And the back side are the fireworks. Hot air balloons. And the back side being pinwheels. And then the sticker sheet looks like this and I already love how many like sentiment things they have going on here like most of these are sentiments so I do love that and then you got some border strips at the bottom so that is cute and I, I like how they have two sheets of each normally I like the full like 12 different sheets but for some projects where I want to make like two of the same this is one of those where that you could definitely make two projects of the same like two smaller projects using just the six sheets of paper so I do um love that and it's also nice to have like in case you want to use one of the backgrounds like one of the cut apart sheets and then the other one what maybe you want to use the background so it really depends on what you're making but you definitely would get to use a lot of cut aparts in this if um you're using like the full collection because I think there was three different sheets of cut aparts so you could use them all and still use the back side because you get two of each sheet of paper. Okay guys, so that is everything I got from the Echo Park warehouse sale. I cannot wait to craft with some of these awesome, fabulous goodies. And I don't know if I'll get to use like some of these nautical ones before the season's over. Probably not. Um, but. Maybe I can make something Valentine's day -y, even though it's not Valentine's Day anytime soon. But I didn't get to craft any Valentine's Day this year, so maybe that's something we could do. And we got some Christmas. I really like this Hello Christmas one, so maybe we could use that in some kind of upcoming tutorial. Because that's cute. Um, and yeah. Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching. Let me know which is your favorite. Let me know also if you guys did some shopping. Um, and of course I'll update you guys anytime there's another warehouse sale coming up so you guys could get in on it and get some goodies for yourself too. And that is everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next crafty video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.